Hello and welcome to this next tutorial session. In this session we'll be going through the new automatic monitoring services and the template function. Now this part will be pretty major in terms of what we're going to go through. So I'm going to go ahead and split this tutorial into three sections. Now this first section here is just going to give you a brief overview of the new changes and the logic behind them. What we at Svantec think this new Svantec automatic monitoring services should be like and what direction we're taking in terms of development. Now for all of our new users, this functionality is reached through this station list icon and this is now dubbed the automatic monitoring services so basically we're going into the project we're going into the project we've created for our station we can have multi types of station we can have different types of stations you can have a project with a 307 and a 258 uh, doing both noise dust vibration metal all in one project for you that have been tuning into this tutorial session, you, you know this is the project we've been working on and going through in a previous video talking a little bit about that. But let's go a little bit more into depth on what we've done on the new Svanet automatic monitoring services. So as you see, I just clicked on view and view is going to take you into the first sort of main page of the project. Now seeing this for the first time, you might uh, think that there are actually no major changes here. We have the project descriptions as we usually had. We had the map, we have a chart of the last hour, we have the chart of the last week, and we have some uh, events here or alarms as we, as we used to call them. So, so far for the established user of Svannet, it all looks pretty similar, right? You have your panels that you used to have in the old Svannet and it just looks differently but the functionality is the same. Well, the logic and the leading thought behind the automatic monitoring services is to give the user total freedom in configuring his project, his automatic monitoring project, in his way without our as the manufacturer interference. You have the full freedom to change anything you like to any way that you would find fit. Now, how do you do that? It all begins with this gearbox uh, icon here in the right top corner. Let's hit that and see what it hides. Now, we have three different modules here. One is called templates, one is called active measurement points, and one is called configure panels. Let's go through them one by one, step by step, and show you what we're talking about. The first one I'd like to go through is the templates panel. Now here you see one easy switch, the edit mode switch. By hitting that, we're opening the project up for full configuration. We can change the order of the panels, we can change the size of the panels with this functionality that is fully interactive. What I mean by that is that if you, for example, have uploaded a picture into your project and you want that to be big, you just drag this panel out, making your uploaded project picture much bigger. The same goes for the charts. You want the charts to be small, you want the charts to be big, you start by dragging them around here. That is the first core functionality of this edit mode, the ability to organize your panels when it comes to the order they are shown in and their size. That is obviously not all. So if we hit the, uh, this button again and go into this, this view again, we see something that's called save templates, load templates, restore from save. So what, what is this about? Well, the templates is the new logic in the automatic monitoring services. We allow you as a user to not only define the view for you, but also to define the view for your client, for your colleague, for your supervisor, you name it. For you that watched the previous video, you know that we in Svannet have something called the sharing option. In the sharing option, you're allowed to invite your colleagues, clients, supervisors into the project using their emails and give them a certain sharing rank. Let's assume you have a client that you simply want to show 
the last hour uh, of the measurement. You do not want them to be able to see the last month. You do not want them to be able to see the events. You want them to see one thing and one thing only. Well, you go here and you set the guest to that panel. So you, you, set, you create that template in your view right here. You go to save as template and you call this guest view. Save that. And then you go to assign templates guest should see only the guest view now for your boss you want him to be able to see everything so you set him up as an administrator or as a manager and you give him the adam's demo view which is everything now this is what you do here in the edit mode so in the edit mode you can not only reorganize your panels but you can also assign which user should be able to see what you can also do that for the token user, so the user that has not been registered to the project, but only given a link. You can also give him different options, so allow him to either adjust time range, if there is a possibility to do that, or allow him to change the measurement points. All of these options are here under the edit mode. Now, in order to save this, you can simply just turn off edit mode and it will remain in the state that you left it it in you can go back here turn edit mode on again uh, change the panel view change whatever and you can also hit the apply changes to confirm that once again these two work the same way the next panel I'd like to go through here in the template in templates mode is the active measurement points. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Basically, we can have projects with a bunch of different uh, stations, let's say five or even 10 of them. In this active measurement points module, you define which stations you want to be bringing data in from into the project so if i now turn off this you see that all the data is now gone because we have no station to pull data from well obviously for the sake of this tutorial we're gonna keep that on but we we'll just want you to see that there is an option to easily remove data from one of the stations that is in the project last but not least we have the configure panels module this is by far the most important one so let's try to go through it in a logical order i will start with the default time range now the default time range is sort of like a global setting ruling inside of this project now remember how i told you that we have one chart that is showing us the la latest hour of data and then we have one chart that is showing us well what is it it would be the last month right well in this panel right here we can select a global setting that will change all of this so if we set that for last week and hit apply the calculation here will show us the aggregation for the last week for both of these panels and any other panel that is currently open such as the event panel you can change these settings locally which i will go through in the next video the last thing i want to go through in this video is the configure panel option right here this is very important to know because in this section right here you define what you will be able to see in your project right now it shows us all the different panels that we have added before you can easily turn them off or on by just hitting this or you can completely delete them if you would, uh, would like to do that so you can just hit hit this uh, cross here and you will remove the entire panel let's leave that open for now this is also the place where you add new panels this is a very interesting part because we have different type of panels that you can add nowadays you can add charts events heat maps tables or dust data even plain text and then normalization for noise level worst day and uh, worst day night hours l then these kind of things we will go through them uh, in a later video as well so basically, if you are here in the chart and you want to add, let's say, a heat map, you do that here, cl click add, and then that heat map shows up here. You then have to configure the heat map, which point you want to have the heat map for, what day, what kind of threshold you want for the colors.
So basically, this panel, configure panels module, will allow you to add any type of view, whether it's a heat map, whether it's a chart, whether it's an end view, you name it, into your project. And you're not longer defined by the amount. So as you previously had in the old Svannet, you had only one time history chart for one station. You had only the ability to view one hour data for one station. Well, now you're free to add as many as you want. You can rename them MP1 LAAQ one week, add that chart that will take you straight to a configuration and then you can locally change things well we set this to one week let's call it one month instead and then have the last month here apply and that will recalculate into it so this was the first part of the tutorial regarding the automatic monitoring services and the new template option we're gonna be talking about what functionalities we have for noise monitoring, what functionalities we have for vibration monitoring, how to create and export reports, and in go into depth a little bit on functions sort of, such as CSV export, which has been a very requested function where you can CSV export straight from the panel. So thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, tune in for the next uh, couple of videos. Uh, we're gonna go through in greater detail on how to configure the separate panels the local settings how we can add and change and uh, explore different functionalities so i hope to see you there and thank you for your attention